Oh, hi. My name is Mr. Cole. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. I'm the children's librarian here at the latter branch of the New Orleans Public Library. Let's go ahead and get started. So I need everyone to reach up high. Welcome, welcome everyone. Let's reach up and touch the sun. Now let's watch the rain fall down. Gently, gently to the ground. Roll yourself into a ball. Then one, two, three, let's jump up tall. All right, we're gonna do it one more time now that we know the motions. Is everybody ready? We need to reach up high. Welcome, welcome everyone. Let's reach up and touch the sun. Now let's watch the rain fall down. Gently, gently to the ground. Roll yourself into a ball. Then one, two, three, let's reach up tall. Good job, everybody. As I said, welcome to story time. Just so you know, all of our story times, this and our previously recorded ones, are available on our website, noahlibrary.org, under the Just For You and For Kids tab. So, I'm really excited about today's story time because as you may have been able to tell by what I was doing when you found me, my story time is about knitting and I love knitting so much. So I'm so excited about this story time. I'm gonna have two songs for you and I'm gonna have one book and I'm gonna have a finger play thrown in there. It's gonna be so much fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So the fun thing about knitting and how it relates to the songs that I'm gonna do today is they both use fine motor skills. And those are so important for kids to develop because it helps them get ready to hold pens and pencils so that they can be prepared to start writing. So let's go ahead and start with a classic. Everybody knows it, but there's some fine motor skill motions involved. We're gonna do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Are we ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. But what about the spider's much smaller cousin? The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. But they've got another cousin. He's very scary. He's very scary because he's huge. He's such a big spider. Are we ready? The big enormous spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big enormous spider went up the spout again. Good job, everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and do our finger play really quickly to get us ready to read our story. So I do this in all of my story times. I need everyone to hold up their hands. I have 10 little fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can close them up tight. I can open them up wide. I can move them all around and I can make them all hide. I can wave them up high and I can wave them down low. I can fold them in my lap and I can hold them just so. All right, my friends. So my story for you today is about knitting on the high seas. I'm very excited. We are going to be reading Ned, the Knitting Pirate by Diana Murray. It's illustrated by Leslie Lamel and it is read with generous permissions from Macmillan Publishing. Let's go ahead and get started. 
Listen to a legend of the crew that sailed the deep aboard a tattered pirate ship they called the Rusty Heap. The pirates were a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And as they swabbed the deck one day, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. So scruffy and scrappy and happy are we. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit. The whole crew turned and stared at Ned. The ship was deadly quiet. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. You might too if you try it. The captain stomped his wooden leg. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. They sailed onto an island where the crew began to dig. And when they found a treasure chest, they sang and danced a jig. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We ain't scared of nothing, not one a little bit. We heave and we hoe and we dig and we knit. Look how much yarn he has. That yarn is as big as he is. That's the dream. The crew was all in stitches, but the captain's nerves were frayed. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. This hat be custom made. The captain shook his golden hook. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. The pirates brought the chests aboard and counted each doubloon, then cooked a batch of squid ink soup and sang another tune. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. As scary and hairy as any could be, we're grouchy and slouchy. We don't ever quit. We slurp and we burp and we gulp and we knit. The captain got so mad he turned as red as lobster stew. Yarg, said Ned, I likes to knit and that be what I do. The captain stomped and shook his hook. I'll have no knitting talk. You'd best not knit another stitch or down the plank you'll walk. So Ned went sadly to his bunk and stowed his hat away. He packed his needles, his balls of yarn and skull trim applique. He folded up his blanket with the Jolly Roger crest and stashed it with the knitted scarves, the mittens and the rest. That night, Ned heard a mighty splash and a chill raced on his back. The captain yelled, all hands on deck, prepare for an attack. And just as Ned has feared, it was the briny ocean beast who loved to snack on pirate ships, his favorite floating feast. His tentacles were thick with slime, his eyes a ghostly yellow. And cannonballs bounced off his sides as if his skin was jello. The hungry beast ripped through the sail and gobbled down a chunk while Ned raced back to quarters and dragged up his knitting trunk. Wonder what Ned's gonna do. The captain yelled, Avast! This be no time for knitting, Ned! But Ned rolled out the catapult. I've got a plan, he said. Ned's blanket soared into the air and landed with a slap. The beast was oh so cozy, he could not resist a nap. He yawned a creeping yawn and swam back down into his den. Another hundred years would pass before he'd wake again. The pirates danced aboard the ship and sang, yo ho, hooray, three cheers for Ned, the knitting pirate, hero of the day. And how the pirates fix the scale or the sail Knit one, purl two, repeat. The pirates knitted together till the new sail was complete. The crew aboard the rusty heap went on about their duties while wearing fuzzy hats and scarves and knitted pirate booties. And they were still a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And every time they swabbed the deck, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit.
the end. Thank you so much for being such good listeners. Oh, I love that story so much. I always get the song stuck in my head. So let's do another little fine motor skills song. It's also pretty common. You might've heard it in story times before, but I need everyone to reach up their hands and hold up our fingers. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we've got our hands. We're ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide, but do not let them in, in, in. All right, let's do it one more time. Is everybody ready? We're gonna hold up our hands. Fingers at the ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide, but do not let them in, in, in. All right, my friends, unfortunately, I am running out of time. But before I go, I'm so excited to share something with you. So in all of our story times, we try and tell you about an amazing resource that the library offers. And because I'm doing knitting, I thought, I'll just talk about Creative Bug. But I've already done that. And so I was thinking to myself, I've already talked about all the old things. Let's talk about something brand new. The library just added an amazing resource. It's called BookFlix, and it uses very, very popular children's nonfiction books to help teach literacy skills with read-alongs and games. It's just such a wonderful resource, and you can access it right from the comforts of home. So... I'm so sorry, my friends, but I do have to go. So let's go ahead and do our goodbye song. I need everyone to reach up high. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Hope you've had a lot of fun. Give yourself a great big hug. Curl up tight just like a bug. Wrap yourself in a cocoon. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.